All right, so in this video, I have a Nike Stranger Things collaboration that I'm gonna show you guys. Two different pairs from the third pack that dropped, which is the upside down pack, which is my favorite one. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys some of the secret nods to the show on the sneakers. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, if you guys are trying to buy any of these, check the link in the description and happy shopping. Excited to show you guys the Stranger Things collabs. This is the Cortez, as you can see right here, and it was $120. It says classic Cortez, quick strike for QS and UD for upside down. Uh, size 9.5 is my size, size 11 in women's. It's a 1.5 size difference in variance in US from men's to women's, as you guys may or may not know. On the box, it does say Nike Stranger Things, and I like that the Nike stuff on the box gives you sort of a Stranger Things vibe. You also do have a Netflix logo on the bottom of the box. All right, to show you guys the inside of the box, it does have the Nike Stranger Things logo on the bottom of the box in a really crazy bloody red. And then inside, this is one of the shoes. You can see this is the Cortez. Comes with a bunch of pins, and I'll get into that in just a second. The other one comes with a different set of laces. Kind of a nice little Easter egg that they had at the bottom of the box. It says, caution, removal of the top layer may reveal alternate dimension. And if you take out the uh, the paper in the box, it is actually the schematics to uh, the Starcourt Mall, which is a super dope nod. It's actually two different maps. I love that they actually added this in. There's a little bit more details. And even the dates on here are relevant. 126 1984 so the box and all the details are super clean and then you get into the shoes and they just look like a white pair of shoes and you're like wait a minute i don't understand the significance of this but they have a lot of really cool hidden details on the shoe that i'm going to show you guys in this video uh, and actually the other pair i'm going to show you has one of them already distressed but first things first you could see the pins again stranger things and then the starcourt mall and then also the hawkins research lab van uh, which are all three different pins. It does say Nike Stranger Things on the tongue. On the reverse side, it does say the same thing as the bottom of the box. Caution, removal of the top layer may reveal alternative dimension. And then deep down on the bottom, it says it will be over soon. The insoles have a bunch of other Easter eggs too, so I'm gonna pull these out. So the bottom of the insoles, you can see they have a bunch of craziness, a bunch of math here. And then I believe this is the device that they use to get to the other side, the alternate dimension. You guys can leave comments and let other people know. And then it has some random drawings on the inside of the shoe. And then it says, Susie, do you copy uh, right here, which is a quote from the movie, which is probably my favorite part of the entire thing. There's a theme song to the movie, The Never Ending Story, which is just one of those movies I loved when I was a kid. And Falco or whatever his name was. <laughs> anyway, that's a look at the insoles. And if you guys want to see them up close, there you have it right there. So you can make heads or tails out of all this. Somebody solved that problem for me. Then it gets crazier because you could see on the inside of the bottoms of the shoes, they actually have hidden messages as well. So this is pretty rad. There's the Russian message right here. I believe it's the same thing said twice. The silver cat feeds when blue and yellow meet in the West. A trip to China sounds nice if you tread lightly. That was a super dope detail that I think most people are probably gonna miss because most people don't pick out the insoles on the bottom of the shoes, but thought that was really cool that they added that there as well. Leave a thumbs up on the video if you actually didn't know that existed on the bottom of the shoe. So this is the Cortez, the Air Tailwind, QS UD, uh, 120 is the box price. And this is the shoe, and I already showed you all of the details, which are the same on here. Caution, removal of the top layer may reveal alternate dimension. And I went ahead and removed it. So check this out right here.
here is the final results in hand, at least the final for now results. Uh, I actually really like what uh, ended up going down here. The fact that I was able to remove that little thing in the back and make it look so distressed and crazy looking, I thought was pretty rad. And I literally burned it down, but if you don't be careful with the Dremel, uh, it can obviously rip off that there, and there it is right there, Stranger Things. Underneath, so comparison side by side of the before and after, it's the upside down sort of effect, obviously. So Nike on one, and then Stranger Things underneath it in like a black, dark leather. And then this white material all over the shoe, and underneath it is distressed and like darker and kind of just crazy, but it's actually like a denim material underneath here. I thought it was black, but it's actually denim, and that's all underneath. And I actually burned off some of these things. So I used the Dremel as you saw, and then I burned off a lot of this. So it adds a really crazy effect to the shoe. And it looks kind of aged and I don't know, it was just fun to try something different. And I did the Dremel a little bit too deep in some places actually, and even went underneath the, uh, the denim, but I think it still looks good the way it is. And then you can see right here, the more removal uh, on the side here, even up on the collar here, it removed. And even on the tongue, there's actually some uh, right there as well. So uh, Nike did a phenomenal job on this theme, in my opinion. I just think it's such a clever play on to the show. And this version of the shoe was the one that I was the most interested in. And I don't know if the first couple of collaborations actually had the same messages and you could actually do that because I didn't get any of the other uh, collabs. But I love the fact that they added that in and they did the upside down, the darker twist and the secret hidden Easter eggs and everything on the shoes. I just think that was just super good. Anyways, what do you guys think about the Stranger Things collaboration? I mean, honestly, the only other thing that I would mention that would make this even crazier is if they would have done this to different models. Uh, I think that they had a really, really big opportunity since it was 1985. Obviously, they could have done the Air Jordan 1. If they did a Stranger Things Air Jordan 1 like this, I think people would have lost their minds. Because I think that's the only weak spot of the collaboration is that the models are not ones that are like highly sought after. Uh, anyway, had fun doing this. A uh, little distressed job here. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Does it look good, bad, indifferent? Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Have a great rest of the day. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Notification bell to be notified of when the videos go live. And we will see you guys for some more videos very soon. Peace, guys.